What do we need to know? Okay, someone is very stressed out. Someone's having a hard time and feeling emotionally stuck. Stuck. It feels like they're trapped. They feel like they're trapped. This feels like it wanted to come out. They have, they want to follow their love destiny. That's in their subconscious. Or they're feeling that energy. It's stressful. Someone wanting to follow their... There was a cycle that finished recently. Having to do with the material world and ending. Something finished. They're thinking that they're going to have to do something really drastic. Tell the truth. Do some kind of a big thing. This person. In the near future. Actually, it came out like that. Hmm. I've got this message. Message about love that's going to feel like a betrayal. Ooh, okay. This person is really concerned about appearing successful or wanting to be successful. Or they're feeling successful about something. They appear to be moving away from a situation into a situation that is a place of lack, whether emotionally, spiritually, or monetarily, financially. They want a celebration and to feel at home, to belong. They want belonging. The outcome is justice around this commitment to something, this energy put into something. There's going to be some justice doing the right thing around it. Some well thought out, balanced, ment mentally balanced justice. Underneath, we've got this Queen of Swords has made up her mind very clearly. Might be a little cold about this dream come true that is in her, in her, when, when I say her, I just mean the energy, not the gender, in her um, realm, a gift, a blessing, something that's come to her. So, you know what I, this person is just feeling very withdrawn and unhappy and aren't seeing the things that could be coming to them. If they would just turn around and see that there's other options, there's other things, there's good things for them. Okay. Who is this person? I mean, I don't feel like this is you. I don't think this is you. It's either your person in my mind or it's somebody who is focused in on you that you might be picking up their energy today. Let's just get some archetypes to figure out. Okay, so this is someone that knows how to play with elemental things and energies they might doesn't mean they're good at it it just means that they delve into that stuff there's they're a detective there's someone who's very focused in on you this person is trying to find something out this person is a gossip this person acts like a victim, uses their femininity. Okay. I got 
prince and gambler, they, they might be in a position, they're using their power position or something that they've got a hold over you or something like that to make themselves look important. They didn't put in the work, so that's part of the problem. Anything else? They're, they're in a situation that they're just not, it's not theirs. They're trying to make something theirs that's not theirs. They do things for people and expect for it to be, it's, it's not unconditional. They like to play God. They feel like they can supersede God and they are blaming other people and circumstances and their dysfunction. They, they project on to people and don't budge and don't want to forgive. On the bottom of the deck, we've got storyteller. So, yeah, gossiping, making up things that harm people. This could be someone who is someone that you've worked with creatively on something. It could be your person's karmic, but I, I just, I'm not really getting that right now. I'm, I'm getting the reason why I need to do this is because you're feeling the pressure potentially of multiple people with this energy who are deeply affected by <laughs> your focus on yourself. Just it's, it's so you, you, I think you're feeling a lot of different energies and I'm just here to tell you where these people are at. They're in a storm field that they created for themselves. <laughs> Goblins. That's, does that just not, that speaks for itself. Okay. Goblins. They are gob, you've got, okay. So right now, while you're trying to focus, you're like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. It's a day off. It's a day where I can be grateful or however your approach is to this day where the world's a little bit calmer if you're in the United States and, but lo and behold, you've got, you've got goblins in a storm field focused in on you. Okay. That's the energy. Okay. So what do I tell them about this? Um, <sighs> Maintain your balance. It's important because it's just an, there's an accumulation of this energy heading towards you right now. While you're focused on this thing that you're excited about creating, you've got a lot to, to do. So it's just a pure, real pure energy where you're trying to stay balanced. And you might be feeling, well, that's me. I'm, I'm adding that. You might be feeling that energy while you're trying to manifest and create things. So just know that the pressure that you're feeling, you might be have feeling on your head or in your aura or these people who are emotionally stuck, stuck on you in a place of lack. So, so what? Okay. Okay, so the guidance on this today, the guidance on this today, the guidance on this for whenever this person is watching, please, Team of Light. Guidance, how, what to do about this energy. Stay present. Just stay present. 
The desires are a gift from God. You wouldn't have the desires if they weren't something that you were supposed to aim towards. It's your north node. These desires are your north node and your birthright. See, see everything through the eyes of love. If you're feeling attacked, if you're feeling emotionally attacked, get back into your heart. That way you can also, you can, instead of, instead of allowing them to steal your energy, you can use, if you use your heart, stay in your heart, whatever it is that you need to do to get heart centered today, it'll be easier to flow with the, with the insight and the things that you're trying to visualize and see and create and, and build. You have these cards keep coming out the same cards, divine consciousness. That's where you want to be today. This just fell out. What about these messages? Mercury messages. Messages. Team of light, please. These messages. Use another deck. Messages of change coming. There are messages of change. Big explosive messages of change coming. So... Big, big emotions of change coming. You're part of this manifestation. It's important for you to get into that love energy for that insight because of these changes and messages for you to stay in your, you stay in your belief. So you have a lot of confidence. Make sure that chakra, your solar plexus chakra is on fire and stay in the delight energy, the joy. Message from the angels. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Message from the angels to you today. You've got love and trust. I mean, it can't get any clearer than that to get into the love energy, the highest high you can, your highest vibration and stay in the love and trust energy. I don't know if it means that there could be some information that comes that is really great that throws you off or something that throws you off balance that's like uh, difficult to process, but either way, the the way that you get through it and still win okay because sometimes good news can throw us off our balance right so you want to stay in a love energy and trust a place where you can have trust in the higher realms you your intuition the things that you know and on the bottom of the deck we got gabriel benediction which I actually have to look up. I need to know what that means. Gabriel wishes you to know that many blessings are sent to you from the angelic kingdoms. Simply yield to this. Don't resist. Just let go. The joy and love you will receive as flow directly from the source will surpass anything else you may experience. These feelings are the virtues that will always be received in the holy instant of benediction. The angel's service is to be a loving conduit for the divine, lifting away any challenge you may experience. Fear makes us unaware of the angels. Surrender the grip of fear and your blessings will accrue. Okay. Say a prayer like Hail Mary, full of grace, as a song to the divine feminine, illuminating the nature of your connection with the holy ones. Yes. Yes, people. I mean, that's the energy to be in. If, and so to me, 
the overall message is if you have, there's a couple things going on, stay in that, if you've got energies coming at you that are feeling contrarian or putting pressure on you that aren't yours, do whatever you can to get back into your connection with source and stay there. Oh, that make that a priority that make that a priority because that helps the other side. It helps. It's going to help with this manifestation and this change that's on its way.